Good. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat. And that can be raised with your hips raised on a block or just on the floor as you prefer. Just make sure that your upper body is tall and upright so that your breath can flow easily and you don't cause any restriction in the upper body. You can have a cross-legged seat or here or whatever serves your body at this time of the day, wherever you are. And then allow yourself to arrive here, close your eyelids. Allow your hands to land anywhere they want to land. It can be in your lap or on your thighs. And then take a full conscious deep in breath through the nose, fill your entire breath body. And give out a sigh or any sound through your open mouth as you exhale. Let's do that one more time. Full in breath, goodness. And let anything go that doesn't serve you as you exhale through the open mouth. <sighs> and allow the breath to just fall into a natural rhythm. Allow yourself to arrive fully. Let there be another imaginary set of eyelids that close on top of the first one. Relax your face, the lips, the muscles around your lips. Soften the eyebrows, the forehead. And that space in between the eyebrows and the center of your forehead. Let it be soft and open. Notice how the breath is moving today, how it enters your nose, where it moves to in the body. And how does your breath sit in your body today? And how does it leave the body? Let your thoughts become slower. And allow any tasks or to-do lists that you have, allow them to become unimportant. Giving yourself the time here the space for you to move with the breath. Keeping your eyes closed, stay internal. As you inhale, lift your arms overhead, reach the palms together. And as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center for Anjali Mudra. Inhale through your nose, exhale through the nose. And let's open the session with a sweet ohm. Feel free to join. Inhale from
Lower your hands into your lap. Flutter your eyes, gently open. And inhale, reach your arms overhead. Just grab your left wrist with your right hand. Stay tall and inhale, reach and lengthen your left arm over to the right. Lengthen the left side, keep the sitting bones grounded. You can stay on the block or if you feel more comfortable on the ground, come off the block. Keep the chest lifting, inhale. And as you exhale, bring it slowly back to center. Change your gripping of your hands, grab the right wrist. Inhale, lengthen the chest first and then reach that left right arm over the left. To the left, open the right side, keep both sitting bones grounded. One more inhale. And as you exhale, slowly back to center. Inhale, release the arms, reach high. And as you exhale, bring the arms down behind you, interlace your fingers behind you. And roll your shoulders down, lift your chest. You can keep your neck long, or if it serves your neck, you can reach your gaze to the sky or the ceiling. Or just notice if it serves your neck. And if not, then keep your chin into your chest gently. Reach your chest high, inhale. Good. One more inhale there. And then next exhale, release your arms. <clears throat> Bring them forward. Come, do come off any blocks or props you're sitting on. And take your hands in front of you and just walk them up, away from you as far as it's comfortable. Drop your head, chin to chest. <clears throat> Breathe into your back body. Feel the shoulder blades and the space underneath the shoulder blades. Maybe gently roll your chin from side to side or your head so you sense the sides of your neck. Just noticing if there's more tension in one compared to the other. And bring the back to center. Inhale there. Inflate the back side. Let the pelvis settle on the exhale. And then gently walk your hands back towards yourself and bring them behind you with the fingertips pointing towards your hips and just a hand's distance away from the hips. Make sure you're on your shins, you're not cross-legged. Just take care of the knee there. And then roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. Take your gaze to the ceiling or if it feels comfortable, even drop the gaze back. Just a cycle of breath here in that pose. And another full in breath. And as you exhale next, drop your chest, roll the shoulders forward and just round the shoulders forward. Look towards your belly button. Good. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift your chest. And if it feels okay in your knees and your lower back, you can lift your hips up, open the front. And as you exhale, drop the hips and round the shoulders forward. A few rounds here, opening the front on the inhale. And then rolling and rounding on the exhale forward. Lovely, moving with the breath. Do one more round there. And after your next exhale, bring your upper body backward. <clears throat> and just roll over your knees or you bring the legs out to the side, bringing yourself into all fours. 
side. And just tuck your right toe here and slide the right foot back. Reach the right heel back. Open the back of the thigh, the bottom leg. <laughs> And let the spine is long and reaches forward. Inhale. And then lift that right leg up. Just parallel to the floor. Reach the heel back. Uh, keep it long. And then bring that right leg, long leg, over to the left and let the right foot drop towards the floor, just off the mat there. Keep reaching the right hip back. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward. And as you exhale, just round yourself. Look underneath your left arm towards your right foot. Good. One more inhale. And then your next inhale, bring the spine forward, lengthen it out. And as you exhale, look over your left shoulder, outside your left shoulder. And see if you can see your right foot there. Good. So looking over the shoulder. Keep reaching that right heel back. And move your right hip gently back. Just lengthening the right side here. Good. One more in breath. When you're following, inhale, bring it back to center. Reach your chest long forward. And then lift your right leg up, reach it back. Keep your leg up here. Engage your core, belly button's moving towards your spine. Reach your chest and your forehead forward and the heel back. Good. And then from here, as you exhale, bring that right knee forward towards your right shoulder. That's it. Inhale, slowly back the right leg. A few like this. Exhale the right knee forward towards your right shoulder. And back. Inhale. Exhale forward. And it doesn't have to come all the way to the shoulder. You can go halfway. And then back. And one more full round. Good, and the next time that you exhale to bring your knee towards your shoulder, keep it there and plant your right foot just at the edge of your mat outside your right hand. Good, and have that right palm inside your right foot. Engage your right upper arm and your right knee somewhat. Right, let them press against each other gently. And then as you inhale, lift your left arm, reach your arm high, open towards the left. And as you exhale, thread that left arm through diagonally backwards and round. Reach your fingertips back underneath your right leg. And then inhale, lift your left arm up, open the chest. Keep the right arm and leg engaged. Exhale, rounding through. Good. Inhale, opens the chest. Right upper arm and knee are still engaged. Exhale around, start moving in your pace, your breath. And find some resistance and you're moving as if something is holding you. Good. And the next time that you exhale, plant your left hand back towards the floor. And then inhale your right arm up, just counter twisting here. Good. Stay there. Lengthening the spine. Inhale, reach in the crown of the head forward. And then as you exhale, both hands back towards the floor. And bring your right knee back beside your left knee. Good. A few cat cows here. As you inhale, drop the belly drop button, drop the chest, look forward. And then exhale, tilt your hips, rounding into your cat pose. 
Close your eye. Dive into your spine. Get in touch with your vertebra. How many can you sense today as you roll back and forth? Or how many regions of your spine can you sense? Let the body decide how it needs to move here. Let the voice in the head become quiet. Turn down the volume of that. And allow the body to have a voice here. Turn its volume up. Feel free to add the side dimensions at any time by rotating your chest or your hips. Moving with the breath. Good, maybe at some point you want to find a child's pose for a cycle of breath. Or maybe you continue that cowing and rolling. Feel free to stay in Balasana forever, how long you like. Or at some point you may want to come out, snake your upper body forward and continue some that cowing or circling. A few more breaths here. Intuitive movements. Take two more cycles of your breath and find your way back to neutral spine. Good. And then tucking your left toes here, slide the left foot back. And then reach the heel back first, open up the back of the leg there, wake it up. And then release the heel and lift your left leg up parallel to the floor. Reach the heel back, crown of the head forward. And then bring that long leg over to your right and let the foot drop onto the floor. Keep the heel a little bit active. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, round and look underneath your right arm towards your left foot. And then inhale, lengthen the spine forward. And as you exhale, look over the outside of your right shoulder towards your left foot there. Lengthen your left side. Move your left hip back in space somewhat. One more breath. And then inhale gently your spine forward, lengthen. And lift your left leg up, reach it back. Keep the leg in the air, inhale there. Reach the heel back, crown of the head and chest forward. And as you exhale, allow the left knee to come towards your left shoulder. So you're crunching somewhat your left side body and then lengthening it back out as you inhale. Exhale, bring the knee towards the shoulder. It doesn't have to come all the way, just as far as feels good for you today. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. <clears throat> One more full round. 
And the next time your knee is towards your shoulder, keep it there. And then let the left foot find your floor outside your left hand at the edge of the mat. Plant your left hand inside your left foot. Good. Activate your left upper arm and left knee. And as you inhale in, reach your right arm up, open the chest to the right. And as you exhale, round through, reach the left, right fingertips towards the back diagonally through your left leg. Inhale, lift up, open to the side. Exhale, reach through. Inhale, open, keep moving with the breath. Keep the left side active. Exhale, round. Uh, two more rounds there. Lovely. And then the next time that you inhale, plant your right hand back on the floor next to your left hand. And then bring that left leg Oh wait, no, we'll do the twist to the other side if the leg's still forward. <laughs> Reach your left arm up. <clears throat> Inhale here. And then now exhale both hands to the floor. And then slide your left leg back into all fours. Good. Two rounds of cat cow. Just to come back. Good, and then from here, tuck both toes, reach your hands gently a little forward. Just lengthen your stance, lift your knees off the floor, just a few inches. Good. And then from here, move your hips back over your heels, long spine, neutral curve in there. And then keep that long spine as you lift your hips up into your down dog here. Take any movement in your knees, in your hips here, yeah, sway them from side to side. Sense the fluidity in the spine. Find your safe foundation in your hands. Index and thumb are working just as much. And the little arch in the wrist is lifted. Engage in the forearm to save your shoulders. And then find your stillness in the dog. Keep a gent gentle little bend in the knee just to keep the hips soft. And as you inhale, begin to roll forward. Ripple slowly, vertebra by vertebra, into your front foot. As you exhale, lower the knees down and the chest between your hands. Inhale, baby cobra. Gently reaching the chest forward. Finding your way safe back into your downward facing dog. Good. Let's do that one more time. Slowly ripple forward as you inhale, vertebra by vertebra into your plank pose. And then exhale, knees, chest, chin, or if you're feeling strong today, plank down. Inhale, baby cobra. If your body is ready, up dog. And then safely back into your down dog. Good. Bend your knees a lot here. Look forward between your hands and take a few steps to walk to the top of your mat into your forward fold. Uttanasana. 
Uh, keep a gentle bend in your knees if necessary. <clears throat> Find your forward fold, either grabbing opposite elbows or your forearms behind your calves. But wherever you are, let your neck be soft, your head heavy. Breathe fully into your belly and the lower back. One more breath. Slowly releasing your arms, planting the left hand central of your feet in the front. And then as you inhale, reach your right arm up, do a little twist. Feel free to bend your left leg a little bit more. Good, reach your chest forward. More inhale, and as you exhale, the right arm forward, and replace the left hand with your right hand. And inhale, reach your left arm up. Feel free to bend your right leg a little bit more if you need. Reach your chest forward. One more breath. And then exhale your left arm forward, next to your right hand onto the floor. And from here, inhale halfway up with a straight back. Fully fold on the exhale. One more time, inhale halfway forward. Exhale fold. From here, bend your knees as if you want to sit down, but keep your thighs parallel to the floor. And then as you inhale, lift your upper body straight into Utkatasana. Any variation with your arms, either shoulder height or anywhere that serves your neck. Just two cycles of breath here in your chair. In and exhale. Strong middle. Strong upper body. And then joining your palms, if they're not already, bring them to your heart center, inhale there. And as you exhale, stand up into your mountain pose. Release your arms beside you. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, swan dive or roll down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, stepping your right leg back, lower the right knee down. Inhale, lift your upper body up. No lunge here. Yeah. Yeah, move your hips forward as far as is comfortable. Reach your chest, soften the shoulders. As you exhale, bring your arms down behind you. Interlace your hands behind you. Roll the shoulders down, lift your chest. One more breath. And then as your next exhale comes, lower the hands back towards the floor. Right hand stays on the floor, left arm lifts, inhale. And as you exhale, bring it back to your down dog. Option to just stay here. Or vinyasa as you ripple slowly forward on the inhale. Exhale your way down. Inhale, long spine. Exhale safely back to order. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, the right knee into your chest, roll forward, let the right foot land behind your right hand, lower the left knee down. Inhale, your way up. Mm -hmm. Hips forward as far as it's comfortable. And as you exhale, bring your arms down behind you, interlace them in the unhabitual way. Right, lift the chest, roll the shoulder blades down. Uh, 
Good. And your next exhale, release the arms back to the floor. Left hand stays on the floor. Right arm reaches up. Inhale. <laughs> and then exhale back to forward fold. Bring your left leg next to your right foot. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fully fold. Stay here, bend your knees. Bring the thighs just parallel to the floor. And then inhale through chair pose. Two cycles of breaths in your variation of chair. Strong middle. And then inhale your hands to heart center. And as you exhale, lift up to standing. Arms beside you into mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive or roll down. Inhale, halfway. On the exhale, stepping your left leg back. You can choose to keep the knee off the floor or lower it back down. And then find your way up either into your lie lunge or with the knee on the floor. Arms overhead. Good, strong legs. Engage your belly. Lift the chest on the inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows back and down as to lift your chest even higher. And then inhale, bring your upper body with you and the arms forward and overhead. Exhale, bend your elbows, lift the chest. A few more like this. Inhale forward, moving with resistance. Exhale, bend. Two more. Good. And then the next time that you end on the exhale, lower the hands back to the floor and step it back into your down dog. <clears throat> Vinyasa if you like. Anytime you can have a break in down dog or child's pose. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Good. Find your breath. Connect to your foundation. Allowing the in-breath to roll into your hips and the out-breath down the backs of your legs. Next inhale, lift your left leg up, three-legged dog. And then exhale the knee into your chest, roll forward and let your left foot land behind your left hand. Right knee on or off the floor, you choose. Find your way into your lunge, lift your body up. Arms overhead. Find your stability. Soft shoulders. Inhale fully. And as you exhale, bending your elbows back and down, little bit back bending here. And then inhale, bring your upper body and arms forward. Exhale, bend. Inhale, forward. On the exhale, lifting the chest as you bend your elbows. Good. Two more like this. And then at your next exhale, lower the hands back down to the floor. Step forward, Uttanasana. <clears throat> Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Stay here, bend your legs so that your thighs are parallel to the floor. And then inhale, lift up through chair pose. Two cycles of breath in your chair. And inhale, take your hands to heart center. 
And as you exhale, lift your hips up, mountain pose. Third one more round, inhale, lift up. Exhale, dive down, Uttarasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step in your right leg back. And bring the right foot to the edge of the mat and lower down the heel for warrior one. Bend your front knee and then lift yourself up. Check your foundation in your legs. When you've got that, lift your arms, any arm height here. Ground to the outside edge of the back foot. Engage your belly. Inhale then, as you exhale, take your arms down behind you, interlace them behind you. Hands, roll the shoulders down. Good, either stay here, right, and be content, or if you like, if your left thigh allows, coming into Humble Warrior, lowering the left shoulder towards the knee or inside you. Try to keep your hips centered, and allow your head to remain heavy. Breathe fully. Good, one more breath. And on your next inhale, reach your upper body back up. Release your arms overhead. And as you exhale, bow down, hands to the floor, stepping back, Ardha Mukha Shanasana, Redanda. Your option again to just stay here or Vinyasa if you like. Your version of Vinyasa, bring it safely back to Down Dog where we'll meet. Good, you're following, inhale, lift your right leg up. And exhale, the knee into your chest, roll forward, let the right foot land behind your right hand. Bring the left foot more to the edge of the mat and then turn the heel in for warrior one feet here. Bring yourself up, good. Reach your arms up, find your warrior one, ground to the outside edge of your left foot. And then as you exhale, lower the arms down, interlace your hands the unhabitual way. <laughs> Good. And if you like, take your right shoulder into the humble warrior towards your right knee or even inside your right knee. Good. Keeping the hips central, let the head be heavy. Breath flowing freely. One more breath. And then your next inhale, lift the body up, upper body. <laughs> Release your arms overhead one more time. And then exhale, bow down, step forward, Uttanasana to the top. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, fully fold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, fold. And then heel toe your feet out so the toes are out and the heels are in from Alasana Yogi Squat. And just lower your knee. Hips down, maybe take a block to sit on if your knees are gentle. Arms inside. Find a lifting with the thumbs in your chest. Even if they don't touch, imagine you're lifting the chest with the thumbs. Let your tailbone ground. Noticing how the soles of the feet are engaged. Is it equally or more out or in? 
Try to even it out gently. Breathing fully into the entire breath body from the clavicles to the pubic bone. Good. Stay here. And just releasing your hands onto the floor. Take your left hand and walk it over towards the left in front of your knee. Let it be on fingertips or on the, on the full palm. And then inhale, lift your right arm up. Try to keep both sole of the feet grounded equally. Don't let the right knee fall in. Keep it out. Inhale, lifting in the chest. Grounding through the tailbone. One more breath. Soft shoulders here. And as you exhale, bring the right arm back towards the floor in front. Both hands back to center. And then from here, take your right hand further out to the right. And then gently lift your left arm on the inhale. Breathing fully, make sure your left knee doesn't collapse. Chest reaches up, tailbone reaches down. One more breath. And then as you exhale, bring the left hand back down front of you. Bring the right hand there too. Inhale. And as you exhale, lift your hips up, coming back to forward fold. And just bring your feet back in parallel to each other, bowing deeper, maybe grab, uh, getting hold of your elbows one more time or your forearms behind your calves, letting your head hang. And just noticing any differences to that forward fold, deep one before. Maybe your lower back feels like there's more space. Maybe there's less, that's fine too. Maybe you notice that your breath is moving differently. And release the arms, soles of the feet are planted, and roll up into standing. Give a little impulse from the belly button towards your spine, the arms and the head remain heavy, and then slowly vertebra by vertebra, rolling up into standing. Uh, roll the shoulders once you're up here. Lovely. And then finding mountain pose at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Find something in front of you that doesn't move on the wall or the floor. Just looking there with drunk eyes, your drishti, but keep the focus in the body. Keep a gentle little bend in the knees, don't lock them. And then slowly transition the weight into your left leg. As you inhale, lift your right thigh up. The soft foot, just parallel to the floor of the right thigh. Maybe that's your pose here. If you want a little bit more challenge, go for a little standing flow. 
So reach your right leg out in front of you as high and as far as it's comfortable. And as you exhale, bend your knee, hinge at the hips, the right leg moving back into space, just touching warrior three very gently. And as you inhale again, bring it back to where it came from, lift up the right leg forward. Mm -hmm. Next exhale, the right leg moves behind your left leg onto the floor. And just kind of courtesy twists so bend those knees. Right knee almost touches your heel or the floor. Inhale, lift back up, turn the right hip forward, right leg forward, lengthen. We'll do three of these. Exhale, reach your right leg back, touching warrior three. Inhale, back to where we came from, right leg forward. Moving again slowly, and with resistance. And then exhale the right leg behind your left leg, courtesy. Good. Inhale, right hip forward, right leg forward. Exhale, right leg back. Upper body gently forward. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, one more time. Right leg behind your left leg. And courtesy. Inhale. Right hip forward, right leg forward. One last time. And this time that you exhale, two cycles of breath into your warrior three, or in your warrior three. Any variation with your arms. You can even have the right big toe on the floor behind you if it's already, your left leg is like it's done. Good. And then do bend your left leg, land with the back foot in the back third of your mat. <laughs> Good. And then open up your right heel for warrior two. Good. Just open your arms. Inhale. Find your warrior two. And next inhale, straighten the left leg, bring the arms into a V, into like a star, and then exhale, bend your left leg, just back into warrior two, just pulsing a few times, yeah, good. Inhale, reach up, straighten the left leg, exhale, warrior two. Two more like this. Inhale, up, exhale, V2. And one more, inhale, up. Exhale, V2, stay here. Reach your arms out, strong legs, scissoring the mat together towards the center. Inhale, and your exhale windmills your arms either side of your left foot, step it back into your down dog. Either stay here, find your breath, or vinyasa if you like. Rolling through your vinyasa, meeting back and down dog. Stay true to your breath. Good. When you shake your head, maybe roll your shoulders here. Keep the body fluids awake and alive. And then bending your knees, looking up in between your hands. If you're feeling very floaty, you want to hop to the top, go there, or take a few steps to Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway here. Exhale, fully fold. And one more time, the chair pose, getting up through that. Bend your knee. And then inhale, lift the upper body into Utkatasana. Any arm variation here. Core is engaged. Good. 
Inhale your hands to heart. And exhale, stand up. Arms beside you. Reconnect to the breath, the soles of the feet. Toes are just soft, they're not gripping, using the soles of the feet. Find your drishti. And joining your palms at heart center. Let there be a lifting in the chest as you inhale. Soft shoulders as you exhale. Soft bend in the knees. And gently transition the weight into your right leg. And as you inhale, lifting the left thigh up. Find your stability here. And as you inhale, lengthen out the left leg forward as far as it's comfortable and as high as you can. And then as you exhale, bend your knee, bring it back behind you. Warrior three, just touching it gently. Inhale the left leg back out forward. Exhale, bringing that left leg behind your right leg, step it onto the floor, off the mat, bend both knees. Inhale up, left hip moves forward and left leg up. Exhale, touching warrior three. Inhale, left leg forward, moving slowly with resistance. Exhale, the left leg behind your right leg. Good. Good. Up. Left hip forward. One more full round. Exhale, the left leg back up, moving in your time, that's fine. Good. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, left leg behind your right leg. Good. Last time, the left leg reaches out forward, and this time that you exhale, bring it into your version of warrior three. Any arm situation, legs don't have to be straight all the way, whatever your body can handle here. Good. And then gently bend your right leg more so the left leg lands in the back third of the mat. Lovely. Turn down the back heel for warrior two. And then open up your arm. Find your warrior two here. Strong arms, strong legs. While you're breathing fully into the entire breath body. And then as you inhale, straighten your right leg, bring your arms into the overhead. Looks like star pose and then exhale V2. If you like this. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. Two more. One last one. Inhale up. Exhale, V2. Full in breath here. Good, one more inhale. And as you exhale, windmill your arms, either side of the right foot, Ardha Mukha, Svanasana, step it back. And if you like, one last vinyasa, rolling forward slowly. Exhaling your way down. Inhale, long spine. And exhaling back into your Ardha Mukha, Svanasana. Few cycles of breath here. Shake your head, maybe roll the shoulders. Maybe the exhale goes through your mouth or through your lips. Letting go of things that don't serve you.
And then from here, drop your knees towards the floor gently. And keep your hips above your knees as you come into Anahatasana. Lower onto the forearms, maybe your forehead or your chest come to the floor. Whatever serves your back and chest and shoulders right now. Allow the shoulders to be soft, even if they're holding you. Allow the belly button and the lower abdomen to drop. Breathe into that space, especially the lower back. You're creating space physically. Now you can create more space just by guiding your breath there. Uh, take two more breaths here. And then slowly engage your forearms and kind of slide, swings yourself onto your belly. Making a cushion with your hands to drop your forehead on. And then swaying your hips from side to side. Breathing fully there. And find some stillness on your belly. Noticing the ground underneath you. How your body is lying there on the ground. You just sense the body parts that are pressing into the ground as you inhale. Um, release that and lengthen out your left arm on the floor over the top. Plant your right hand to the right side of your chest, very close, and then just press your right hand into the floor and roll yourself over your left side onto your back. <laughs> we have to wiggle yourself back onto your mat. <laughs> Bring your knees into your chest. And just finding some circling with the lower back on the floor. Both directions. Good. Back to center here and take your right hand onto your right knee, left hand onto your left knee. And then let's move in opposite direction. So pulling the knees into your chest, bring them out and then forward and together to center. Just like you're stirring the top of the femur in that hip socket. Lovely. Noticing the heat you're creating in the hips. And 
And then changing directions if you haven't done so. I'm just noticing that lovely massaging of the lower back as well into the floor with this movement. Good. And then gently bringing that back together, the knees. And your hands on the outside of your shins there, still hugging them in. And just rolling from side to side gently. And then from here, roll onto your left with your entire body, a little bit like an embryo, like this, or so that you can see. Good. And then lengthen out your left arm, shoulder height towards the floor, and have the right palm on top for now. And we'll come into a twist from here. So keep your knees high into your chest, but let them be soft, no holding. And then as you inhale, reach your right arm towards the ceiling, open up, and let the right arm come behind you. And if it doesn't reach the floor, that's fine. Your right shoulder can hover, totally fine. But you can use your left hand just as a gentle support on your right knee if you choose, but it doesn't have to be there, right? Your right knee can be anywhere that it moves to. Good. And then full breath into your right side. Maybe stop at the top of an inhale. Let the breath swirl around. And then releasing as it wants to go out. Your jaw is soft, bottom. Maybe you can just sway it from side to side, the bottom jaw. Slide it, let's go, slide. Good, one more full breath here. And then we'll come out a different way. So let your arms be arms. Bring your awareness into your right hip. Right, your pelvis area there. And then let there be kind of gentle pushing from your right pelvis so that your right thigh slides alongside your left thigh. So the impulse comes from the pelvis. It uh, slides forward and then your spine comes along. And at some point your right arm is going to lift as well. And then bring the right arm back onto your left hand. And then take your hands back onto your knees and roll back onto your back. Rolling from side to side there. <clears throat> and let's bring it to the other side. So roll all the way onto your right side. Good. Let your right arm be alongside your shoulder. Stretch it, stretch it out in the left palm on top. Knees are high into your chest. And then as you inhale, lift your left arm up, open the chest and let your left arm land anywhere it lands. It doesn't even have to land, it can just Hover in the air, your left shoulder also doesn't have to touch the floor. Just enjoy that opening in the chest and twisting in the upper chest. You like to take your right hand as support, no pushing or pulling, just gently touching or just leaving the right arm there. And find your breath, opening the left side. Maybe stopping at the top of an inhale. And when it needs to be released, the breath, let it go. Let's 
soft neck, soft jaw. Pull up the corners of your mouth into a beautiful smile for yourself. Lovely. One more breath here. And then let's come out the same way as we did on the other side. So bring your awareness into your left hip, your left pelvis. And then give a little bit of an impulse. So you're pushing your left pelvis forward. That makes your left thigh slide on top of your right thigh. Your whole spine comes along, your left arm will come as well. And then bring it back on top of your right thumb. Good. And then rolling back, taking your hands back to your knees and roll back onto your back. Just pressing your knees into your chest one more time. Inhale. Good. And then release your legs. And if there's any other pose that your body desires to do, go for it. And if you're ready for your well-deserved Chavasana, lengthen out your legs find anything that you need to put on any clothes or anything to cover your eyes and allow your feet to be mass distance let your arms be beside you give the armpits room to breathe palms towards the sky gently rolling the head from side to side slowly Finding that sweet spot on the back of your head. And let's take a full inhale through the nose all the way into the toes. Fully exhale, letting out any sounds, any sigh. <sighs> One more full, conscious, deep in breath into every happy and healthy cell of yourself. Let it all go as you exhale. <sighs> Allow the breath to fall into a natural rhythm. Allow your body to melt into Mother Earth. Allow her to receive you. Let her cradle you in arms of love. Finding peace, stillness within and without. Thank you. 
Slowly become aware of the space around you. And then noticing yourself in that space. Sense yourself in this space, your top, your bottom, your one side, the other side, front and your back. Gently reawaken the self, a little movements in your hands and feet. Allow the eyes to remain closed as you find your length. And when you're ready, bend in your knees, sliding the heels up and then bring your knees into your chest. Rolling from side to side. 
And then allow the body one more time to decide which side you want to roll onto. And from there, with closed eyes, find your way into a seat. And joining your hands at heart center. Inhaling through the nose, love and light. Exhale through your open mouth, what you don't need. Inhale through the nose, joy and sunshine. Exhale anything that doesn't serve you. And let's close the session with an O. Inhale, full and open. Um, your hands to your forehead. Through this practice together, may we find ways to let go of what was, accept what is, and have faith in what will be. Bring your hands back to heart center. Bow to yourself in gratitude and appreciation. I thank you for letting me guide you. Light within me bows to the light within you. Namaste.